Good morning, everybody. All right, today we're going to go through the decal filter, the desert glare filter, the directional filter, and the draw mask filter. Directional is actually a blur filter, so we'll kind of have a little fun with that. Decal is a little interesting, and um, draw mask can get kind of complicated, so it'll, it'll be kind of fun today. All right, the decal filter first. Let's throw this on here, and you can see how it kind of makes a bump map. Okay, now let's go through the sliders. You have amount, make it bumpier or less bumpy. Uh, use clip alpha, and that we'll get here when we get to this drop zone clip. You'll see what that does. Uh, sloppiness, and this actually you can see the the bump map kind of moving left and right, but when we put a clip in there, you'll actually see what happens to that. Brightness, kind of overall brightness of everything. Let's uh, reset it. And show background, you can turn it on and off. We'll see when we get to that, when we get to the clip in here. And then scale, scales the entire clip. All right, let's uh, stick something in this drop zone. Let's apply this uh, Southern Nevada Health District thing. Apply that. May not be crazy enough to do that. Yeah, it's not really seen it. So let's apply something different. Let's apply this one. All right, look how strong that is. Okay. Let's go back to our filter here. And we can see the sloppiness here. What this does is it affects the prism action of the, the bump map. So when it's not very sloppy, you can see it's nice and clean. But when you turn up the sloppiness, you can see how it's pulling through the cheeks through here and pulling through the back of the hair. Let's go over to pizza here. Oh, here we go. we got some good lines right here. You can see the sloppiness there is kind of pulling through these areas. And when we go down to zero, all you see is you see bumps and you see a bevel, but you don't see it distorting the image behind it. So when we turn the sloppiness up, it distorts the image like crazy. Not like crazy, but a little bit. Okay. And if we turn the background off, we don't really see, it doesn't really make much of an effect with this. It'll do it with some other ones. Um, but basically what it'll do is turn the uh, bumpiness off of the background if it has one and then scale just does it for everything all right so let's get rid of this decal filter and let's go to desert glare desert glare is another one of these uh, colorized filters and you have an amount here it just it kind of burns and colorizes at the same time and then you have the protect skin and because of the particular color of this filter it's very difficult to see what protect skin does but it kind of makes it orange as opposed to bright so you can see an effect but it's you only see it if you're really looking for it okay the next one is directional which is a blur filter so you'll see it here in the blur category and what this does is it makes a blur, but it does it with a direction. And what's cool about this is it has on-screen controls. You can increase the amount, and you can actually increase the amount beyond the slider. And then you can change the direction or the angle. Over here on the slider, you can only go up. And you can go up as many, well, you can go up to 360 degrees. Okay, let's reset this, and I'm going to do it now with the on-screen controls. So as I pull it, I can see how it affects the direction that I'm pulling everything. All right, and this can be animated really well and easily, so it's kind of fun. Now, drop draw mask is a little more complicated. Um, it starts out, it says click to add a control point. So what you do is you click on the points where you want to create a mask. Let's create a mask around his face. And these points can be animated. Actually, each one of these points can be animated, although it will take quite a bit of time. You can do that. Once you complete the mask, your mask will disappear. 
And if you want to invert the mask, you can actually do that right here. Put something else in its place if you want. Okay. Now you have different shape types. Um, and that involves the shape of the mask that you created. You have linear like I just did. You have Bezier, which allows you to modify um, the in and out of the points, the curvature of the points, and then B-spline, which automatically modifies the curvature of the points. So let's do Bezier and let's go smooth, and then we can modify that a little bit, play with it. So now let me grab that control point. There we go. So we can go in here and make it smoother for his chin, so on and so forth. Okay, let's stick with linear for now. The fill opacity is, it adjusts how much fill your mask has. So if you inverted it, you can make that mask transparent in that spot. Um, composite, you can view the composite in the original if you really want to view the original. Um, what this would do is if you were zooming in on it, let's say I zoomed in to um, 100 percent and I was trying to get the yeah. I was trying to get right here on the chin or something, then by viewing the original, I'm not missing items here. I can I can actually take the line and make it work for me. Something like that. All right, let's zoom back out to fit. All right, let's go back to composite. You have feather. This feather is the same thing as that other mask I showed you before, the crop and feather mask. When you feather to the right, it feathers outward from the mask. And when you feather to the left, it feathers inward. It's reverse when the mask is inverted. So if I feather to the right, it feathers outward from the mask, which means it'll feather the image. Um, outside of the mask and then inwards does the opposite. And then fall off. Actually, it's best if I zoom in a little bit. Fall off will affect the feathering. And what it does is a, a greater fall off will mean it's more opaque and then sudden more of a sudden drop and a lesser fall off will allow that drop to extend a little further from the feathering so this is a longer gradient and the fall off higher is a shorter gradient see that Let's take the feather out. All right, then you have transform, which is basically, let's go back to fit here. Transform is basically movement of the mask. You can move it around, you can position it, you can rotate it. You can scale it. And then control points, let's set these all back to zero because it'll affect it at zero. Or set it back to standard. Control points here are, these are all the points that you set. And as you create a mask, if you did 20 points, you'll get 20 control points here. I did 17 on this one. And as you grab one of the points, you'll see the numbers change. This is number 16, 17. Let's go with control point four. See the numbers changing there as I do this? So you can grab it by the points or you can sit here and 
move it by the specific numbers here, number sliders. Okay, so that is those four filters. We went through the decal filter, the desert glare, the directional, and the draw mask filter. And next time we will go through dream, drop shadow, droplet, and dry heat. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a line, send me a, a comment, whatever you want to do. And I'll thank you very much for watching.